you click this video to see me shoot a kingfish. So without further ado, here is a kingfish being shot. Very bad water visibility. I could hardly actually see the fish when I pulled the trigger, resulting in a high shot. Yeah, I'll do a near second shot. My dive buddy this day, Ewan, goes down and sticks it with a perfect holding shot. That doesn't, however, mean that the fight is over. If anything, it only reinvigorated the fish to fight even harder. I had to keep this one on a very short leash just because the visibility was so bad and I couldn't see how far away it actually was from the bottom. So I was better off just keeping it real close to me and letting it tire out in those first couple meters of water. It's really easy to get caught up in the moment, but you have to always be thinking about your line. You don't want to get wrapped up. That's when things can go wrong. People are worried about sharks, but entanglement poses a much more significant risk to your health and safety out there. So always keep your line management in mind. When you're dealing with kingfish, you have to be decisive. You can't half-ass anything. These fish can overpower you, that's no joke, so take it seriously. Always treat your catch with the utmost respect. Dispatch them effectively and humanely. Bleeding fish is one of the easiest things you can do to improve eating quality. Fuck yeah, dude. Man, what a beautiful fish. I'm so grateful for the sacrifice you have made to my mission. Your energy will not be lost, only transformed. Thank you. I went out of my way to utilize as much of this fish as I possibly could. Eating the head, wings, spine, basically every part I could except the gut. There is a lot more meat on fish than just the fillets. And oftentimes it's these parts that are holding most of the flavor. Try them out. Utilize more of your fish. So you have to kill less. As always, there will be opportunities to give back to the ocean, not just take from it. I was presented with the opportunity to get rid of this blanket. I took a big fish out of the ocean, now I'm going to take out some big rubbish. Do my bit. Bit of yin and yang. After shooting a kingfish, all the pressure was off. I could relax after that. It's senseless and greedy to shoot another fish after you've already got a kingfish. Totally unnecessary. So I was just relaxing, swimming about, blowing bubble rings, swimming around on my back, but decided to make myself useful and get some rubbish out of the ocean. This was even very fun in its own way, provided a unique challenge. Swimming down, trying to find the points where all the sand's holding, cut it out so I can get it to the surface. Where yet more slashing before I can get it into my float boat. Luckily my dive buddy this day, Ewan, had one of the large wiki models, so we we're able to put the kingfish in there while I filled this one up with rubbish, blankets, crap that shouldn't be in the ocean. It's really sad to see this much plastic out there, but we can make a difference. If every time we go out there and we see rubbish, we pick it up, don't just ignore it. The ocean is made up of droplets. We make small changes and we'll make a big change overall. Be the change you want to see in the world. Thanks for watching. This episode's sustainability message is only shoot one kingfish. There's no need for more.